My name is Mike Bowman, and I'm the Advanced Technology Leader for Sustainable Energy. Artificial lift is a technology that's used in the oil and gas industry, and it's when a well is producing oil, and the natural pressure of the earth gets a little too low to get it to the surface, we'll put technology into the well that encourages that oil to come out of the ground. About half of the oil that's used in the world today, and we use about 85 million barrels a day, come out of an artificial lift well. So there's a lot of them out there. So small improvements in performance or in life have massive impacts on the industry and on the economy in general. The differences between onshore and offshore drilling are, are quite numerous. There's two miles of water to begin with on offshore. And then once you get through that two miles of water, you have to go down another potentially 30,000 feet to get to the resource. So the temperatures and pressures at that depth are extreme. And then you get the resource back into the ocean where it's cold, which makes it a challenge. And then you need to get that from that location, maybe 100 miles to onshore, which can be a very big challenge. Because these pumps get to experience gas, liquid, and solid all at the same time or independently, those solids can really wear on the product, the metal parts. So we're looking at making hard coatings to make those products last a lot longer. We're also looking at the aerodynamics of the pump so they can handle both gas and liquid at the same time and be efficient. And by taking technology that our aviation business invented and using it in the oil and gas space, we now have our parts that last a significantly longer time. Artificial lift technology has changed a lot in the past decade or so. The biggest progression has been from a mechanical pump or a rod pump where you have a direct connection from the surface into the well to what we call electric submersible pumps where it's an electric motor down in the well which allows us to put them in more creative and more challenging situations. Advanced testing is critical for product development. Our products, we design them to last years and years and years. So to try to test that in a short environment and represent multiple years of, of life is challenging. So we do what's called accelerated life testing. So we'll increase the pressure, or we'll increase the loading on parts to try to wear them out faster and understand the mechanics of wear. Then we can modify the product and renew the accelerating testing and see if our improvements have made a difference. The people I work with, they're inspiring, they're creative, they love what they do. And it's just inspiring to see that creativity work and how quickly people can get things accomplished.